Good morning everyone, look at this for weather. First day of spring yesterday, it's an absolute cracker today. We're out on a private still water here in Suffolk. We're gonna be giving the Rigdon Ready X5 Adventure a go in the fly version. So we're hoping to catch a few fish today. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Absolute cracking day down here today, look at it. Weather's absolutely beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. So we're gonna give this a go today in its fly version today. I've never fished this early in the season fly fishing, so I'm not really that clued up on what to be using. So any uh, hints and tips, please stick down in the comments. So if you're into a mixture of fishing, this X5 Adventure from Rigged and Ready is an absolute brilliant rod this is because you've got everything inside of it and we've done a review on this before so we'll stick a link to that in the uh, up at the top there. So I'm really, really new to fly fishing, and especially this time of the year, I really don't have a clue what uh, what lures to use. But through the magic of YouTube, I've uh, managed to sort of work out what ones to use. So I've got a good selection of uh, buzzers here. So I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a go straight away with one of these little olive little buzzers here. We're going to give that a go and see whether we can get anything on that. But it's just so nice to be out, and it's so peaceful here. No one else on the water, just me. There we are, there's one. Just get this up on the rail. Nice rainbow. All right, let's get the net. Well impressed, there we go. Look at that beauty, absolutely lovely. First fish of the day, first cast, absolutely spot on. Right, let's clonk this one on the head and see what else we can get. Well anyway, we christened the fly version of the X5. We've christened our brand new net that we got from Eden Made. Just look at the quality of this. This is an absolute beautiful, beautiful handmade trout net. Um, I'll stick a link to Eden Made uh, in the description below if you fancy one of these, but I definitely recommend it. It's an absolute beautiful, beautiful net, and as long as it's looked after, it's going to last you forever. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get this thing back in the water, and uh, let's try and get another one. All right, let's get this out again. There we are. Well, at least those little buzzers are working. That's the main thing. That's another miss we just had. There we are. Come on. Ooh. That's an overwintered fish by the looks. Look at that, that's a beaut. Number two. Look at this for a now 
I reckon that's a brownie. I'm not 100% sure. Like I say, I'm not really that clued up with trout, but that looks like a brownie to me. Absolute beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at him. Look at the colours on him and the spots. But that's an absolute lovely fish. Right, clonk on the head. Next one. So this ain't normal for me. You know my videos. There's plenty of Terry Wogans in the corner recently. But uh, this is doing really, really well. So we've got a little tiny olive drab buzzer on. And uh, yeah, absolutely spot on. Loving it, absolutely loving it. I need to work on my fly casting. I know that for a fact, but uh, it all comes with practice and, uh, and time. But anyway, back in the water, let's get on another one. This is the advantage of fishing a private water, isn't it really? I think I'm gonna to have to stop and have a brew, I think, because I'm on my third fish here. It's non-catch and release in this place here. And I don't mind taking fish home, but I don't wanna go back with thousands. <laughs> but look at that. Whee! Come back to me. There we go, another beautiful little rainbow. The color on that, absolutely beautiful. Right, let's dispatch this one. I think we'll have a brew, I think. We've got a lovely little rut that caught that. So who says you can't catch coarse fish on flies? I know they said that there's no catch and release, but I'm sure they don't mean these ones. But let's get this fella back. Oh, well, you can't beat that, can you? So I've been here an hour and a half three fish and uh, yeah this happened the last time I came trout fishing actually um, I had about three fish within half an hour and then uh, you pay 30 quid don't you you know for a day ticket with a maximum of four fish and uh, within an hour you've got four fish and then there's what what do you do with the rest of the day and that's why I brought my smoke smoker down last time and actually had a cook up and stuff just to kill the day so you don't got to go back home to the missus but uh, yeah, I mean, where I am today, as I say, it's a private water here. It's, um, there's no catch and release. It is, you, you take what you want and you pay for whatever you take out. Um, and it's, you know, I think that's absolutely great. Um, and there's, there's no one here, like I say, it is literally just a private water. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna have a little stop for five minutes and just sit and enjoy this peaceful, peaceful countryside and just have a coffee. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Right, cheers. There's um, there's tons on the surface, tons of fish on the surface. So um, I think I might have a go at throwing a throwing a dry fly on actually. See what we get from that. But it's just nice just to be out. I'm so looking forward to going to work tomorrow. Not. But, you know, things are slowly, slowly starting to get back to normal. Kids are at school. Misses are still at home, though. Put up with that. Come out fishing. You know, things are starting to open up. It's really, really unlikely that I'm not going to get out to Sweden this year. So I think we can knock that on the head in June. And, uh, We'll head up to the Lake District, I think. Go up in the van for a week, maybe two weeks. Hit some of the mountain tarns, do a bit of hiking, do a bit of fishing. Catch up with a couple of people, do some other fishing. So, you know, it's just adapt, isn't it, really? I mean, the way I looked at Sweden, 
was to prepare for Sweden and prep for something else, which is what I've done really. You know, I don't want to waste my annual leave. We had a two week holiday in Sweden, a pack raft in in Glasgow Yens. Tons of fish on the surface now, tons. I think we'll go over to a dry. Anyway, culinary delights, Rudolph in a bag from Renya, absolutely brilliant, love it. Do you know what, I think we'll just have a go with one of these um, apps. I've never used these before, but I've had a lot of recommendations on these. Let's have a go with one of those and see if we get anything with that. I can see them just under the surface there. They're looking at it. But they ain't playing ball with it. We'll have a couple more casts with this. And then uh, we'll go over to something a little bit different. I thought I'd just give this a go. I got recommended these. And uh, I guess they have their time and their place. So no good with that. So we'll flick over to a dry fly, I think. There we are. Brilliant. Number four. So there we go, another little rainbow. So that's number four. Um, how much have we got? And I think we've got 25 quid in our pockets. So it's five pound of fish here. So we've got a chance to catch one more. So we'll have a go for one more. We'll just stick this on the stringer, get this in the water, keep it cool. And uh, we'll have a go for the last one. Right, so last fish today. Really, really impressed with today. It's been absolutely brilliant. It really has. I'm just completely, completely stoked about getting four fish so far. We've got a chance for another one. So uh, without further ado, let's get this fly back in the water and see what we can get. Right, last cast for the day, or not last cast, but last fish. That was a better cast. There's fish there. Right, so there we go. So that's fish number five. So absolutely stoked to be out here today. Absolutely brilliant. We've had four absolute stunning, stunning rainbows and uh, beautiful brown trout. I'm just so, so chuffed and just so honored to be able to fish this water. But yeah, absolute brilliant day. Right, so it's been three hours, 45 minutes. We've got our five fish. We've got this absolute stonking brownie that we've got there. 
we've got four beautiful rainbow trout it's been absolutely brilliant and i'm just so really really honored to be able to come and fish this it's been absolutely brilliant it's been really really good to give a christening on the x5 in its fly variation as well so this has been an absolute cracking rod to fish with today and you know if you're into your travel fishing or you want a rod that you can do pretty much anything with then the x5 is definitely the rod that you want to be looking at uh, please take a look at the uh, review from this rod and please don't forget the discount you can get and I'll stick the discount code 20% discount code if you use the my discount code on the rigged and ready uh, website so thanks for watching this week's video it, honestly it's been brilliant brilliant day out today if you haven't subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button just below and as always a couple of videos for you to take a look at and we'll see you next week on the next one